Hello happy people, welcome back to Nail Therapy Thursdays. Today I'm gonna show you all how I created this beautiful pink lemonade set using dip powder and gel polish with some gold flakes. Hello happy people, welcome back to Nail Therapy Thursdays. So today I'm gonna to be showing you all how I got this beautiful design here on my left hand. Don't you all just love this? It's a nice hot pink with a beautiful bright yellow with a little accent ombre nail and some gold flakes. So I'm super excited to show you all how I got this look. So if you wanna see how I got this, definitely stay tuned. Um, first off, I'm gonna show you all everything that you need to get started. This is a dip powder set, and I do do my dip powders with um, gel. And so you'll need your gel polishes. You'll also need um, the dip powders that you'll be using. These two dip powders are from uh, GH Dip. Uh, the first one I have here is in Mango. Y'all can see that here. It's in Mango. And then the second color I'm using here is in, looks like it's French Rose. Okay. And then I'm also using some Gold Flakes. I did get these as part of a kit from Beatles. So, um, there's some Beatles kit I ordered. So, I have this. You'll need uh, two brushes. Um, these are going to be for how you ombre the nails. I just have two old eyeshadow brushes that I'm going to use for that. You'll also need a nail file to shape your nails toward the end. You'll need a cuticle pusher. I have a wooden one here. And then you'll also need uh, some cuticle oil. So, this is the cuticle oil that I have. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and hop on into this. And of course, because you're using gel, you'll also need a, a LED or UV lamp. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is dehydrate your nail. Um, that's gonna be very important for making sure that um, you get all the dust and particles off your nail. I'm just gonna do that here really quick. I've already uh, buffed, filed, and shaped my nails the way that I want them. Make sure you do that prep. It's very, very important to making sure you get the perfect manicure. So yeah, I'm gonna spray one more time here. I like to make sure my nails are kind of drenched almost so that I can make sure, you know, everything's dehydrated. All right, so my nails are dehydrated and all ready to go. So first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my base coat here. I do use the Beatles base and top coat. These work really, really good with the GH dip powders. I highly recommend it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use my base coat first and I'm gonna go ahead and just put a thin layer over all the nails. When you're doing your base coat, you definitely wanna keep the layers nice and thin. Get as close to the cuticle as possible. Like so. And then you wanna repeat that for all the nails. So once you have that initial layer on, you'll want to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. And again, if you flooded your cuticles or sidewalls, just make sure you clean it up with a cuticle stick before you cure. So I'm just going to do that really quick. Okay, so once that's cured, you'll wanna go ahead and prep your powders. So typically, um, once you open your powders, you'll wanna stir them up. I literally just did this hand off camera, so I don't need to stir my powders up, but I'm just opening them up to get them ready to go here. Let's see, I'll leave them right here in frame for you. And then um, I also have some cupcake liners. Um, so I'll be using those to assist me as well. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, you also need to clear the clear, clear encapsulate. So let me go ahead and get started here. So you apply another layer of base gel. Like so. And then you'll pour over the color that you want.
I'm gonna flash cure this for 10 seconds. Okay, so since I am doing an ombre on my middle finger, I'm gonna skip that one for now and go ahead with my ring finger and just apply a thin layer of base here. You'll want to flash cure that for 10 seconds as well. And then you're going with your base, base gel again on your pinky finger and repeat that process. Once that layer is done, I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 10 seconds. Actually, you can go ahead and cure this layer for a full 60 seconds. Okay, so the first layer has been cured. That's what it looks like. You want to go ahead and take a manicure brush and brush everything off. Manicure brush here, you'll want to just brush everything off. Like so. For this one, I am using two different manicure brushes. I don't want to cross contaminate my yellow and my pink. All right, so now we'll go through and repeat this process. what the nails look like after two coats of the dip powder. I'm going to just go in and brush off the excess now. Beautiful coverage. Look at that awesome sauce. Okay, so now I'm going to work on this accent now. I'm going to go ahead and apply my first layer of the base. And we're going to do things just slightly differently with this nail. After I put on this layer of base, I'm just going to flash cure it for 10 seconds. So I'm just going to flash cure this now for 10 seconds. Okay, so now that it's been flash cured, I want to take my pink and I want to take my fluffy brush and just kind of dab it into the powder. And then I'm just going to focus it primarily on one side of the nail, like so. And because we flash cured it, it has like this sticky layer to it. And I'm just going to go ahead and finish ombreing it on the side here. So I want to just kind of continue to pack that color on. And I actually learned this technique from Marla Chris. So Marla Chris, I'm giving a shout out to you. Thank you, darling. You helped me master this ombre with gel. Because prior to this, I wasn't really sure how to do it. And this is so easy to do. Like... I mean, anybody could do it. Like, it's really hard to mess this up, you know? So, yeah. Um, thank you for that. And actually, um, I was planning on doing yellow and pink nails. And then Marla Chris uploaded a video of yellow and pink nails. Pretty much almost exactly like what I was planning to do. So, um, it was fun to watch her video and kind of get more inspiration about how I wanted to perfect my, my pedicure. I'm sorry. 
how I wanted to perfect my manicure. So, um, yeah, so if you, uh, I'll link the video to the one where she kind of did nail similar to this. And, um, yeah, she gave me the idea to, um, well, I was going to ombre the middle anyway, but she, in her video, she actually dipped it, the ombre nail in glitter. Um, and I have some glitters from Dollar Tree. They're actually like craft glitters. And yeah, that didn't really turn out too well for me. So, um, I'm going to just stick with just like a regular ombre and then I'm going to add those gold flakes and that ended up being a way better look for me. So now I'm going to take this other makeup brush. I think this is just the eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. And dip it into my yellow. And then just kind of ombre the other side of that. Okay. And just, just lightly pressing it into the, you know, the gel polish here. And it's going to give a really pretty ombre effect doing it like this. See how the ombre is kind of starting to come together? Let's see if it'll focus here. There we go. You see how the ombre is kind of coming together here? The middle kind of looks a little skimp, so that's where I'll focus my product at next. I'll just kind of bring it more towards the center as I'm patting it on. And then I'll kind of go back and forth between the two colors until I feel like the ombre is kind of how I want it, you know? So that's how the first layer is looking here and I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds okay so that's the first layer here oops wrong now all right so that's the first layer here that's cured let me go ahead and brush it off with this you want to be careful how you brush it off I kind of just slowly uh, kind of brush one side off at a time because again I don't want to contaminate that yellow to where it's kind of tinted so I kind of just brush both off separately to make sure I'm keeping everything, you know, uniform. So that's that. I'm gonna go in with my second layer of base coat here. Flash cure for 10 seconds, and then start aubreying. layer number two and I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds once that's done again you'll want to carefully brush away the excess powder being careful not to contaminate the two colors like so and then I am going to go in with a third layer of the ombre just to make sure it's nice and opaque. So this is what the third coat of the ombre looks like. I'm going to go ahead and add my gold flakes in. I'm going to show you all how I do that. So I'm going to take another layer of base coat here and apply it to the nail. 
like so. And now I'm gonna flash cure this for 10 seconds. Okay, and I'm gonna prepare my flakes here and just kind of crinkle them. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spread my gold flakes here right down the center of that ombre. So let's see. Like so. And you just wanna kind of place the glitters wherever you see fit. I'm just gonna kind of make it like jagged down the middle here. And with these flakes, you know, a little really does go a long way, so you don't need to do too much for it to look really nice and pretty. I think I'm liking how that looks. I want to add one more just slight flake here on the side. Just for a little added effect. Okay, I think that looks good. So that's how this looks, right? I just put the flakes on in the middle here. Now I'm going to clear encapsulate this one. Let me cover my flakes before I mess them up. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my clear powder and just kind of pour over that design just to kind of protect it. And once I pour over, I'm actually gonna take my hand and just press it down like so. And this is to get all the flakes to lay nice and flat. And then I'm also just kind of gonna press that powder on into the nail, like so. And it's a nice firm press there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cure encapsulate one more time. Just pull more clear over. I'm gonna tap off the excess and I'm gonna flash, I'm gonna cure this for 60 seconds. Okay, so now that that's cure encapsulated, that's how it's looking here. You can just wipe off the excess dust. Like so. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is go through and go ahead and clear encapsulate the rest of the nails, do a full cure, and I'll be right back. So this is what all the nails look like after I do a layer of the clear dip. And so now I'm going to go through and just brush off that clear. Like so. Looking beautiful. Okay, so last thing left for me to do is to go through and apply my base coat and apply my top coat and we'll be all done. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, if you need to go through and shape the nail, you can. Um, but I think my nails all look pretty good, so I don't think I need to go through and do that. Okay, 
So this is what the nails are looking like after I applied the base coat and the top coat. And I must say, I'm absolutely loving this look. That gold nail, the middle nail with the ombre and the foil down the middle turned out lovely. And yeah, so the only thing left to do is just to apply some cuticle oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. You definitely wanna make sure you keep your cuticles nice and hydrated to keep them nice and healthy. I'll do that on both hands here. So yeah, really loving this set. This set definitely reminds me of like Pink Lemonade for some reason. So that's probably what I'm gonna call this set, Pink Lemonade. It just looks so pretty and so beautiful. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. Okay, so yeah, this is the finished product. Um, definitely leave your thoughts down in the comments below. I love to hear your thoughts about it. Um, and if you all end up recreating this look, I'd love to see it, definitely tag me in it. Um, yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday. So yeah, definitely come back next Thursday to see what other nail designs and or sets I'll be doing. And yeah, as always, leave some love in the comments down below, and I will see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye. Okay, so I wanted to come and give you all an update on how these nails are holding up. They are holding up quite beautifully. This is what 16 days of wear looks like on these nails. As you can see, I have that growth here around the cuticle area. And you all, these nails are growing strong. I'll be honest, I feel like I keep I can keep them on a little bit longer. So it's been just a little bit over two weeks. And look at the shine, look at the gloss. Like, I'm really in love with this um, dip powder method using gel polish. I just think it works so wonderfully. Um, and so the only thing I noticed with the nails is on this one, unfortunately, I actually chipped this nail, I would say maybe two or three days after I did this set. And I pretty much, I stubbed my finger and I'm actually surprised that more of the nail didn't break off um, because my nail was actually hurting for a few days after I stubbed it, but it just chipped off a little bit in the corner here. And you know, this goes to show how good this method is because typically if you have a chip like that with it being exposed, normally it'll start lifting and things like that. I didn't have any lifting on this nail at all with it being chipped. So I'm surprised it held up this long, but really happy that it did. Um, only other thing I've noticed is that there's just a slight bit of lifting here. Not even a whole lot, but just a little bit of lifting, which is pretty natural having your nails on for this long. So yeah, I'm really excited about this method and I'm absolutely in love with this set, you all. Um, <laughs> I used these, uh, I did these nails um, before I went out of town and they held up beautifully. I've been back for about um, a week or so, but no, about a week and a half and they're still holding up beautifully. So all I can say is, is that I love this method and I will be doing it again, probably on my next set. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this update here. Again, this is about two weeks worth of wear.